Most Colorado businesses have suffered through the pandemic. One type of business thrives on the suffering. It's really when you're selling fentanyl, basically you're selling a time bomb. That's Lieutenant Andrew Howard of the Denver Police Department's Vice and Drug Control Bureau. He's been tracking down drug dealers for 10 years in this city, but what he's seeing now is unprecedented. When we get a tip about somebody selling fentanyl, it comes to the top of our queue. Lieutenant Howard says it's coming up from Mexico and through the mail from China. Some of it is cut into heroin, but he says much of what they collect is pressed into a pill to look like a prescription oxycodone. And oftentimes when we talk to the deceased family members or friends, um, they had no idea that they were ingesting fentanyl. A couple milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal, which makes this year's seizures so concerning. 3,065 grams this year, more than triple what the department found in the same time last year. The availability has led to a 288% increase in fentanyl overdose deaths in Denver alone. Statewide, we see a spike too. Back in 2015, just 41 people died of a fentanyl overdose in Colorado. It's climbed year after year, 214 in all of 2019, 169 so far this year. We advise people to um, use the smaller amount of the drug um, and to, if they're injecting, to inject slower. Gene Finn is the program manager for the substance misuse program at Denver Department of Public Health and Environment. DDPHE is spreading the word about the spike, the fake pills, and the treatment options out there. It is available 24-7 at Denver Health and Hospitals Emergency Department um, that if somebody, when they're ready, they can go in and they can start on buprenorphine. Drug users and those close to those folks should also carry naloxone, the overdose reversal drug, something pharmacies can give out without a prescription in Colorado to prevent deaths. All of this, a Band-Aid to that bomb DPD is working to defuse. It's just a matter of time before it's going to go off in that person's life. In Denver, Ryan Herrer, Nine News. We have to keep this conversation, the lieutenant says. We have resources available on our website for those who need them. Just text the word HELP to 303-871-1491. We'll send you a link that may help you or someone you care about.